The recent buff to pulse rifles and auto rifles is the best thing that could have happened for warlocks and titans. Hand cannons have always been the more dominant weapon archetype because of their strong mobility. As we all know, hunters are the most mobile class in the game and they take full advantage of the benefits that hand cannons have to offer. This is one of the reasons that hunters dominate the PvP playlists. For us subclasses that are forced to be more grounded, the cold denial pulse rifle helps us even the playing field. Rumble. Watch your back, Guardian. No one else will. Now I'm gonna spawn in and push to the right side of the map. I see two guys engaging each other. I do get one kill over here. I'm gonna continue to stay in this area because people spawn in here near the launch pad or either inside. Now I see somebody there so I pop my empowering rift just hoping he pushes in on me. Doesn't seem like he wants to engage with me or maybe he found somebody else. So I'm just gonna stick around here a little bit longer. Now again the second guy who spawns in doesn't want to engage me as well so I kind of just get out of the area. He pushes around from the right side. He's not really exactly sure where I am, so I get a pretty easy kill with my pulse rifle over there. Now I look at my raid and I see that there's somebody behind me spawning at the launch pad. Seems to be behind one of these barricades, so I'm just going to wait him out. I ADS and I get a couple shots on him. Now I'm just going to push in and try to finish him off with my sidearm. He gets me to zero health practically, so I'm going to take cover. I see somebody on the radar, so I throw my nade to cut him off and then I finish him off with the sidearm. I see two pings on the radar so I activate the empowering rift. I go engage the first guy on the right side, get a two top with my pulse rifle. The second guy pushes in towards me. I try to get the kill on him with my sidearm but he has a shotgun and he has the upper hand with that one shot kill weapon from that range. Now that I've respawned, I'm going to scan the radar. I see somebody on the left side. I'm going to engage with my pulse rifle, but I'm not going to go fully committed inside the lane. Remember that this is a slow firing pulse rifle. If I miss a shot, I'll be screwed. Again, I turn around, go back to the spawn point where I just spawned in, see somebody there. And as you see, again, I'm not fully committing to the fight. Again, if I miss a shot, I'm screwed. So I throw an 8, finish this guy off, and then I do a nice little 180 and get the kill here with the Devil's Ruin. Now that I've spawned in, I notice that there's somebody on the left side on my radar. I also see that my chaos reach is topping off, so I'm just going to wait till I charge my super before I engage. Now that it's fully charged, I'm going to jump up into the air to get the aerial advantage and finish him off and deactivate the super. Again, I'm going to push towards the landing pad. I see somebody on the radar, get the kill. You see there's a bunch of radar pings over here, one in the front, one in the back. I engage the guy in the back because the one in the front which wasn't pushing out, and there's a second guy that pushes out over here. So what's going on in my mind right now is I see a lot of pings and I'm just looking at who's going to push out first. I get this one guy, he runs away so I get the second one because he wants to get the easy cleanup kill. And I do this amazing slide now just to get out of cover. I got a bit lucky over there so uh, I'm happy for that. Now I throw a pretty nasty grenade over there. But this guy on the left side, he engages. I throw my melee. I don't know why I didn't tag. This is a pretty messed up situation. I don't know how all this played out. But it happened, so I'll live with it. Now, there's a guy on the right side. In any normal circumstance, I would actually push in if I had a shotgun or something. But with my sidearm, I have to play really different. It's really special the way that you need to play with this kind of a loadout. It's very passive, right? Because you have to charge that sidearm. So there's another guy over here. I charge it up. I miss a few of my shots. I melee, we don't really trade, nobody ends up getting killed over here. I think this guy ends up dying to somebody else. Now the second guy pushes in, I get the easy kill over here with my sidearm because my aim was on point. Now there's another guy on the radar over here, I'm going to push forward, I'm topping off my super at the same time, just trying to get a kill over here either with my sidearm or my pulse rifle, but hey, he's just standing put so I'm going to activate my super over here. Now pushing back towards the middle here, just because Heavy is up, I'm predicting that people will be there. He has some nice shots with his bow, so I'm not going to engage with him again. But I got my sidearm out just in case somebody pushes in on me. So I try to activate it on this guy. He's a bit out of range. Now the second guy pushes in on me with his shotgun, so I get the kill with my sidearm and my melee. Now over here there's a lot of people spawning in so I put my empowering rift and this is where you're going to see the power of the empowering rift and the pulse rifle together. As you can see there's a nice little two tap over there and a nice little two tap over here. So really really good loadout if you're good at peak shooting. Now I'm scanning the radar there's three people near me. I focus my attention on the guy on the right side because he's the closest and as you can see over there peak shootings won me the battle. He planted himself right in the middle of the lane and he got punished for it. 
now that I've respawned, I'm gonna go grab the heavy ammo because it's up. I do hear a striker titan activate his super, and then I also heard a gunslinger. And now I'm actually hearing a night stalker behind me. There's some sort of a fiesta going on, so I'm just running for my life. Unfortunately, I can't really dodge all three of them at once and I end up dying. This match is crazy. Again, I've respawned in the corner over here. I do have my super almost, it's just charging up with my geomags. I'm gonna push again towards the launch pad because that's my favorite area. I'm just scanning the radar, constantly looking to see if there's anybody over there. Somebody does pop up, but I'm not gonna activate my super right away, just gonna get a bit closer. Now I activated, but I got caught on the wall. So I'm just trying to squeeze myself in this building over here in case he's hiding in the corner. Somehow I ended up getting him, but I do die to this guy's vigilance wing. So I need one more kill for the win, gonna wait for himself to respawn. I'm in the corner again, right over here. I see somebody on the radar, so I'm using this pillar for cover and so I can peek shoot and get the kill on this guy and that's the win. So I hope you guys learned something throughout this match about peak shooting and how the empowering rift can really make the warlock powerful. I really had a blast playing it. I'm planning on maybe doing another upload with the cold denial pulse rifle and maybe a fusion rifle. So look out for one of those in the future. Again, the raw gameplay will follow this if you want to hear it without my commentary and just want to hear the, the footsteps and everything that I've heard. If there's any specific loadouts that you guys want to see, do let me know and I'll do my best to upload it. So thanks for watching and see you guys in the next one. Rumble. Watch your back, Guardian. No one else will. Two for one. Be proud of you, Warlock. You're in first place. That look easy, Warlock. Five minutes remaining.
war guardian. Show your enemy what a real fight looks like. left. You're in the lead. You're first. Are you happy? You killed everyone. Don't do this outside the crucible. 